Good morning, this is gonna be a get ready with me. I know I'm in rollers, I filmed it for TikTok. I'll insert it for you, but I bought a bunch of stuff. some elf putty primer I've had this one for a little while I love it love it love it for someone that has mature skin like me it fills all the pores I wouldn't even say mature skin what well, is mature skin but textured skin so it fills all the cracks all the pores all the things we have two to pick from I don't know I'm partial to physicians formula and I love that it's more of a liquid you don't have to mix it, you just have to kind of make sure it's really well rubbed in. I haven't filmed to get ready with me in a long time. I don't normally go to football games either, so this was like, it was a last minute, the weather was really good kind of deal. This L'Oreal True Match is just a re-up. I love this stuff, especially for my skin. Like I said, it's like kind of mature, but really textured. I like it because this is a serum as well. It gives me a super natural finish. I don't like to be full glam all the time. I don't like to be full glam most of the time, actually. But it just kind of gives me an overall really nice, even finish. And my complexion is always so even when I use this. I cannot talk highly enough about this contour wand from Physician's Formula. I love it. It's just like the rest of them. However, I love all the colors and the formula is absolutely perfect. Get your hands on this. It's cheap. Amazon. contour I always want something a little bit more heavy duty so I use my NYX wonder stick I've had this for so long it's got two sides but I find especially if you're gonna wear sunglasses I find this one is the best for doing your nose contour and sticking around especially if you're gonna be out in the hot sun physicians formula butter glow bronzer I mean you have to and it's drugstore so it's reasonable for everybody. I just finish out the concaves and then I just add wherever. I just finish out the concaves of my like, everyone says it's the skeleton contour, but you know what? Yeah, it is, screw it, I like it. So we're gonna go with that. And then I just kind of, wherever the sun would naturally hit me, we just do it, just finish it off. Look what I found the other day. I was cleaning out a drawer. It's the Benefit California. I had a brand new little stack of the minis. Never been used. I love this California. I hope they still have it. I don't even know. I can get it at my drugstore. So my, my drugstore has both kind of bougie and kind of not, but I think I bought a bunch of minis for $23 or so. Still in range of drugstore. I didn't get eyeshadow from the drugstore because I'm kind of on this thing is I'm gonna use what I have except for the things I need, you know? So I'm gonna go in my Laura Lee Los Angeles whimsical nude. I'm gonna use three colors, sand shell, cedar rose, and either golden blaze or Manny. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make an eye look. We're gonna go lightest to darkest and we're gonna give myself a smoky wing. Sand shell all over the lid. 
I know you guys know how to do this, so I am just going to give you a quick rundown. So the lightest color for me all over the lid, concentrating all the light in the innermost corner of my eye, just like that. Just to give it a base, I do have a little bit of primer on, and then obviously my foundation. We didn't put any concealer on today, did we? Oh well, too late. Now I'm going to go in with Cedar Rose and concentrate it on the outermost corner of my eye. I kind of make a line and then I blow it in. Same on this side, we'll make a line and then we'll blow it in. It doesn't need to be complicated anymore. That's what I love about makeup. It doesn't need to be complicated ever, but it doesn't need to be complicated at all. Especially when you're going to be out in the high heat like I am today. Eh. Like, to a football game, you want to look good, but you also don't want to look too overdone. That's what I think, anyway. I'm going to take a clean brush and just blow it into each other. Here's a hot tip. If you know you're going to be out in the sun for a long time, or, like, if you're going to be out for a long time and you want your makeup to stay, especially your glitters, use this. This is the NYX Glitter Primer. The best. I'm going to put it over top of what I have down already, it doesn't matter. It is just gonna hold all that glitter where you want it. Glitter, metallic, sparkle, whatever. And then, when you go in with a glitter, I, glitter, I, glitter. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go in with Erin. I just like tones in it. Check it. And I guarantee you this will last you all day. All day, friends, all day. I am going to blow out the lower lash line. I'm going to concentrate all the color on the outer corner and just blow it in, sweep it in. The only thing that I do not buy at the drugstore, like religiously, is my setting powder because I have such sensitive skin. A lot of stuff breaks me out, so I just use my Laura Mercier. This is the translucent, this is the OG. In six months, I use a jar so I can justify the price twice a year. Plus, my skin is happy instead of being angry with me. We don't want angry skin. We are gonna bake as we do the brows. I'm just gonna pull them all up as usual. I like a very natural brow. I don't like anything too I think it's scary looking. I do have e.l.f. gel, but I think because I bought it in my Amazon box, NYX glue. Oh yeah. Brand new spoolie. Make sure all the gel is in there by just coating, and then I stick them where I want them. Now you go in with the NYX Thick It Stick It. Is this a gel? No, it's a mascara. I just follow along where I put the gel down. I'm not too concerned with the shape. I'm just concerned about getting little brow hairs to look like brow hairs, and then I will shape them later. I know they look a little crazy right now because we're not done. This is the NYX brow tint pen and I go in and just fill in any of the hairs I'm missing because I'm missing a lot. Look how fine tip this is. So that's the color I'm going with and I'm just going to flick up and it's going to fill in these brows. Now that those are in, I'm just going to go and shape them with a spoolie. It's the most satisfying part, I think. We've curled the lashes, brows are done. I want to try this. Have you guys tried this before? This is the Lash Extender Mascara. We need it. Look how short my lashes are. I'm going to do one side and then I will come and show you the difference. There's nothing on my lashes. These are all natural. There may be some leftover glue from eyelashes. So there's that. But aside from that, nothing on them. And I will show you what this does. Hopefully, I mean, it has really high claims and very bold ones and I hope it works and I hope I can believe what's on the package. Be right back. I'm back and I'm semi-satisfied. Let's see. I mean it's doing things I don't have a lot to work with. I don't hate it for the price. Worth it. I'm gonna go to do the other eye. I'll be right back. Why do I feel it did more to this eye than it did to this one? Anyway, I like it. For the price, 100%. I'd buy this. I used to be... Oh, I used to be a sky-high, lash-sensational 
uh, wear, which I still am, but I wanted to try something new. I also have this one that's new, so we're gonna try that in another video. But this I would buy. I was sick of this, it's got the same one. I like this formula. I'm still gonna throw on some falsies though. I'm just gonna wipe this way. I'm gonna go throw on the falsies and then we will finish them. I don't care who you are, our doll makes the best lashes. These are the winks. These are the winks in bossy, lips, duck, plump. And I probably use sand beige. I don't know. This is the only color I got. If you need a good plumping lip gloss, this is it. Give it time. Don't swallow it. Keep it on your lips. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off with my marshmallow by NYX. I'm gonna go take my hair out and I will see you soon. From one crazy hairstyle to another, I'm warming up my lunch. I'm almost ready for the game. It's looking windy outside, so we may have to do something with this hair. Hope you guys like the little get ready with me. I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we're gonna go to the tailgate. I'm just setting my lunch, cool down. Oogie Boogie tickets got like announced, like the release date of them. So that is my concern this week. That is what I'm like banking my whole trip around is getting these Oogie Boogie tickets. And so I have planned and planned and planned. Like I know where I'm staying. I know what days I'm going, I am know all the things. I'm from Canada, so going down there, I try to get down there twice a year. Going down there is quite a plan and we drive. So I just am hoping that I can get my hands on three Oogie Boogie tickets for early in the season. You can hear a plane going over. It's like they have an air show today, I swear. Anyway, that's what my major concern this week is. I hope you guys enjoyed the get ready with me. I am almost ready for the football game. I don't wanna put my jersey on until just before I go because they are hot. And I got a jacket just in case I get cold. And my hair is setting, cause you know, but I see it's getting windy outside so we're gonna probably change it here. But anyway, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I think we're gonna go to the tailgate party. Fun fact, it's a youth extra large, way cheaper than an adult size jersey. I very well just could put some jeans on, but I want to make it like my style. So I'm going on with my Miranda Lambert Idlewind flares. And we're going to go throw on a belt. I love these pants. For jewelry, I have a football. This was made for me in our team colors, and I am so happy to have it. Now for earrings, we have to match. So we're gonna go in them with these. These are from Hilberg and Burke. I don't know if they have this color anymore, but they do have a green similar to rings, wedding stack, and my grandpa's wedding ring for good luck. Apple watch. Hey, the band kind of matches. It's green, so it works. And sunny. Because I don't want to stand in a bag line at the entry gate, I'm gonna throw this in my pocket. And for shoes, walk-in boots on concrete is a no-go. So I got my new rope though. Because this game is gonna be pushing in tonight. I'm gonna get the rope I just know. We could do plaid or we can do jeans. Close out this vlog here. Thank you all for stopping in. My name is Kat, as always.
It's good to see you. It's so good to have you guys along with me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.